Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks, and specifically, welcome back to Before It Was Nerfed, a video series where I show you some tanks in truly mythical states when they were completely overpowered and dominated the battlefield. This time, Fext is going to be showing us the KV. Yep, no number after that, it's not the KV-1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, actually, it kind of is, but more on that in a second. This was a Tier 5 Soviet heavy tank that existed for the first year of the game's release. Well, at least on the European server, because this tank was changed in patch 7.3, which was released on the 8th of May 2012. And you might notice that it looks a hell of a lot like the current KV-2, right? Yeah, you might be getting somewhere if you take that, that train of thought. Then it effectively is. It is the Tier 6 KV-2 at Tier 5 in the form of a KV-1. And the reason why this tank is just absolutely scary at that kind of tier is because 300 alpha damage and 167 millimeters of penetration. This is a fairly decent gun on a Tier 8 Soviet premium heavy tank, the KV-5. And it's a really good gun on the tier 6 Soviet, prem uh, so not premium, standard heavy tank, the T-150. And so to have this vehicle on a tier 5 tank to be able to brutalize the, back then the matchmaking, I'm not sure if this vehicle could meet tier 3s. I know that back then the matchmaking was actually a lot more brutal, so this tank might have to deal with at least tier 8 heavies. I'm not sure if it would have to deal with tier 9 or possibly tier 10 tanks. You definitely in your tier 6 heavies back then could meet tier 10 vehicles plus four matchmaking. So Fex is just ripping apart the KV on the enemy team right in front of him. I wonder how long it is before I start to, to mess up my numbers on the tanks. And look at the shell tracers. Back then, the shell tracers used to last so much longer, and I believe they started to cut them down to enable artillery to hide a little bit better. Some things in World of Tanks don't change, however. Look at that ghost shell. I believe that went right through the middle of the enemy KV tank, allowing him to survive. But luckily, the enemy KV ricochets off him, but Fex ricochets off the enemy KV as well. It's a battle of who sucks less right now, and it doesn't look like Fex sucks quite as hard as the enemy KV, shutting him down and picking up his first kill of the game. Now he wants to press on to take on that little baby, the T-28, maybe turn around. I'm just taking a look at the minimap now, and I'm thinking how far World of Tanks has come in the last four and a half years, right, guys? Goodbye, T-28. He didn't even really aim that one, but goodbye, the Tier 4 medium tank there. Look at the minimap. They didn't even have red and green bases back then. They just had base 1 and base 2. And look at all of the overlays, the way that the system looked. Oh, man. After having played the, the the future version of World of Tanks, just a, a wargaming fest, this this truly is a blast from the past. So a KV-3 comes around the corner, and that is not a Tier 7 heavy tank, guys. That is a Tier 6 Soviet heavy tank, and that's because the KV-3 was moved up to Tier 7 again in patch 7.3 when they reworked all of the Soviet heavy tanks. And this vehicle, the KV, was split. It became the KV-1 and the KV-2. And you could not use, well, obviously you'll know this now, you could not use the KV-2 turret on the KV-1 tank. That's what made it special. And so you couldn't use the 107mm. You couldn't use the 152mm anymore at Tier 5. And a good thing too, because this tank was completely overpowered. It was one of the best, I guess, semi-seal clubber tanks. But I'm not sure if you can really consider Tier 5 to be that much seal clubbing, I guess. Especially back then when everybody was pretty much new to this game, right? So Fex comes around the corner to try and spot the last remaining tanks in the field. Unable to do so, the KV was as blind as a bat, and it kind of still is. A Hetzer and a KV-3 on his team are single-handedly holding base. He decides to make his way back to try and support them. He's used his med kit. He hasn't used his repair kit. And I'm looking at his ammo loadout, and you might be surprised if you didn't know this, but premium rounds used to... Uh, the reason why a lot of people call premium rounds now, which just cost more credits, gold rounds, is because back in the day, they used to cost you gold. There was no opportunity to buy them for credits. And so that made guns like this with 167 millimeters of penetration all the more powerful. You certainly couldn't play... Um, a vehicle such as, I guess, the Comet, 
back then in any kind of capacity as you could now but then again the comet was introduced in patch 8.0 i believe which was after those changes were made in the first place so fex takes a swing at an m36 which i believe is now called a slugger right i, I think they've changed the designation of that tank if not i could be wrong there and puts one into the t3485 but unfortunately it bounces and he's against six opponents here and he's got to watch out because they're trying to swarm his KV-3. Hopefully he can kill as many of them as he can before they cross. Puts a good round into the side of the SU-85 there. But the swarm of vehicles on the enemy team managed to take down that tier 6 Soviet heavy tank, the KV-3 on his team. And he left, left him alone in a 1 versus 6. But how tricky is a 1 versus 6 going to be when you're in one of the most overpowered tanks of all time in the game? Not too bad, shutting down a higher tiered medium tank, pretty much taking away half his hit points in a single shot. Following it up by taking away half the hit points. Oh, what a low roll, 225 disaster there. I thought he was going to kill the, the slugger. He didn't quite manage to, but he's going to put one into the SU-85 and now he gets a nice hold down location to engage the M36 from. The M36 manages to penetrate his tank. It's now down to 89 hit points, but luckily he shuts him down, picking up his, his eighth kill of the game. So back in patch 7.2, you might be wondering, well, what happened when uh, a tank that you, you knew as the KV-2 became the KV-1 and the KV-2? Well, back then, Wargaming were exceedingly generous. And if you had the KV-1 and you had the top turret unlocked and researched, then you would be getting a KV-2 and a KV-1 completely for free. And I think they even gave you 100% crew on the tanks. Gosh, uh, in the same patch... Wargaming changed the IS-4 from a tier 9 Soviet heavy tank up to a tier 10 Soviet heavy tank, which is absolutely baffling when you think about it. And everybody got a tier 10 vehicle for free, as well as keeping the tier 9 variant, the IS-8, which has now become the T-10. So Fex is currently digging in, expecting the Hetzer to try and sneak up from behind, as any good sneaky German tank destroyer would. And a Hetzer, while it may be a tier lower than him, could be using the 105mm derp gun with a high explosive round that will undoubtedly remove most of his hit points, if not all of them, the 89 that he has left. He also needs to be concerned about the SU-5 on the enemy team. I believe this is back in the day when that SU-5 was probably one of the most scary low-tier tank destroyers ever. With I didn't think it could carry many rounds, but what rounds it could carry, it was very accurate. So Fex is now in a very tense situation. He's on eight kills. Two derp guns on the enemy team could be absolutely anywhere. The Hetzer, oh, he's got to be very careful as he comes around this corner, as obviously there's a whole way to shoot down the center of the map all along this line. So where's the Hetzer going to be? Well, he doesn't have to worry about the artillery. What is that SU-5 doing? Oh my word, what a donkey. Maybe he was just tunnel visioning. Or maybe he thought, oh, please get away from the scary KV-2. Oh, it's not a KV-2, it's a KV. Get it right, derpy baby. So, Fex picks up his ninth kill, now only having to deal with the Tier 4 German tank destroyer and the enemy team. And do you know what? Thinking about it, actually, there were quite a few Tier 5 tanks that were completely overpowered back then. There used to be a Panzer IV that had some kind of tier 6 premium tank turret back then. Well, if you want to see me do a video on that, do let me know in the comments down below. So Fex makes his way on towards the cap circle. I guess he's thinking about capping right now. He goes inside the cap circle, he leaves the cap circle, unsure of where the Hetzer is going to be. But it's not until he finishes searching for a while and manages to find the sneaky German tank destroyer sitting out in the field that he gets to zero in and pick up his 10th kill. Great result there for Fex. So another crazy feature of replays this old is that the results are shown to you immediately after the battle. Here we can see Fex picking up 10 kills and receiving 9,000 experience for his triple and 70,000 credits nearly. He fired 24 shots this game, 21 of those hit the target, while that tier 6 heavy tank armor at tier 5 enabled him to receive 12 hits. So considering this gun's got 300 alpha damage and he put 21 shots into the enemy tanks, it's very likely that Fex did about 4,500 damage in a tier 5 tank, which is simply ludicrous. So Fex, thank you so much for uploading this time capsule of a replay so we can go back and and take a look at the KV in all its glory. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps the channel out. And let me know in the comments what tanks you would like to see me feature next on Before It Was Nerfed. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.